Well, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to uh, another live stream here on the channel. My name is Inside A Gamer, and today we're bringing you, I suppose, this episode three of um, of the Zoo Tycoon. Now, just to kind of go over yesterday's episode, I was kind of a bit fed up by the end. I got a couple of flamingos here. I was struggling with the land to form it. I've gone away and practiced a little bit more, so hopefully we can uh, build something in here for them. And over here, we have started building. Um, we have started to build this now. This is kind of like an open walkway for our guests for some animals. We have a couple of monkeys in in animal trading. Uh, we have some there waiting for us. So look, we have a couple here. I mean, a few other little bits and pieces that we will. Uh... Okay, <laughs> thanks for the comment. I'm a little bit tired, if I'm honest. Yeah, so there we go. So look, uh, so we did. Hopefully, I can. Uh, my practice has paid off. Hopefully. Uh, We, um, sorry, I'm just fiddling around here with the settings, sorry. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to continue uh, building on. So what we'll do, we'll start with these flamingos. Let's build them their pond that I've been <laughs> trying to build all day yesterday. Um, what we'll do, we'll go on the push. We're going to lower the intensity down just a little bit and make it pretty small. And uh, so what we do, we'll go down a little bit like that. And then what we're going to do is flatten the foundation and we're going to find the bottom bit here. And here we go. This should give me what I'm after. Or not. We didn't go far enough down. Always, always a good start. Always works better off camera. It's always the way I find. Uh, so let's push it down. Let's go a bit more intense. Need to go a bit more. Oh. Make it a bit smaller. There we go. So we'll go down there now. Flatten the foundation. That should now give me what I'm after. A nice big pond. We shall see. Not quite. We have not quite gone deep enough. Ah. Uh, Right. A bit more intense. Right. Hopefully, this will be a bit wider. We're gonna flatten the surface. Oh no. Uh, control Z. Uh, we'll smooth the surface. Are we deep enough? No. <laughs> I don't know. Is that flamingo in the in the way? Ah. Uh. So big here. Okay, what I might have to do is get rid of the flamingos while we do this because they're causing me all kinds of problems. Uh, so, what we'll do is just play the game quickly. Uh, we're going to move them. Trade center. Let's get rid of them all for the second. Now, now we can do it. <laughs> we will get there. So, I'm gonna go down here. Say that should be enough. And foundation. Oh, 
Right, so test the water. Ah, see. We knew we could do it eventually. We'll do just remove that for a second. And what we're going to do, we're just going to smooth the sides off a little bit. And throw our water back in. Hmm. There you go. I'm happy with that. A hell of a lot happier with that. A bit of grass in there. But it'll, it'll, be, it'll be all fine. Okay, so. Let's go back to our, our flamingos. Let's move them. Move them back into their paddock. One, two, three. Four. Let's unpause the game. Let's get them back in there. Which is... Good. Happy with that. Okay, so while they come back in there, now the one thing is actually we can now probably increase the ticket prices in the zoo um, because I do think we're a bit cheap. Our ticket's only three three dollars, so what we do we'll put them up to eight, and we'll put them up to five. Uh, that should give us a little bit more income. What's it saying here? We need. The priced research is complete. Okay, let's have a quick little look at our research. There we go. Oh, finished everything. Okay, so what we're going to do quickly is get our flamingos research a little bit. Um, the warthogs are pretty much finished. Wow, okay. And um, we'll get some of the lemurs started. Okay, flamingos are back. Well, two of them are back anyways. I think the vet's happy. Okay, so let's see what they want. Maybe we'll be able to do it this time. Okay, so they don't want the long grass, which is fair enough. But they're okay with the shorter stuff. Uh, so what we'll do, we'll put in quite a bit of that for the minute. We'll get rid of all that long grass here, tidy this up. Yeah, it makes a little pool look a bit better too. Uh, why are they not happy with that water area? You'll be kidding me. All my hard work. All my hard work. Um, hmm, okay. Let's finish doing what we need to do for them. So, soil. Let's get them some soil. Around the outside here, make it look a bit realistic, I suppose. I'm going to find out that the, the cage isn't big enough for them. Uh, want a bit of rock? We'll put some rough rock in up the back here. There we go. So close. There we go. So, I think they're happy with that. They do need a hard shelter, so let's sort that out. Um, We'll just give them something fairly basic. There's only a few of them at the minute. What we do, I think we'll give them this. And we'll throw that up the back. And it's bedding down. There we go. So they like aquatic, tropical, temperate grasslands. They like pretty much anything, which is always good. So we can say they like aquatic, tropical grasslands. Okay. Might have to build them a bigger pool, um, but we'll, we'll see how they go. Right, so, 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 what have we got? Some rocks, yeah, we can put rocks in. Hmm. These are pretty cool. Put some of these up like the, the side or the back. 
I'll be honest with you, this is probably the weakest part of uh Designing. I wouldn't say it's my strong suit now. Okay, I'm not going to touch the water for a second because I have a feeling. Oh, these li li lilies are pretty cool, aren't they? Coil reeds. Ooh, too big. Too big. Ridiculous. All these stuff are pretty cool. I need to find out now that I need to put more water in, I suppose. Uh, coverage. 30%. What? It's too much. You've got to be kidding me. Okay, so that's all the coverage they want, apparently. Hmm. Interesting. I suppose they don't want too much. Okay, let's press play a second. Mm, the area is a bit small. Flaming Flamingo What was obstructed by? Uh, why did my fence just break? Okay, the water bottle's fine there Go back to our barriers and the water is not quite big enough for them. Ah, but you know what, it's not too bad. It's not bad for right this second anyways. Yes. Throw a couple more them down. Protesters have arrived at the zoo. Protesting. <sighs> Damn flamingos. Right, we're gonna have to make their habitat a bit larger. Which is fine, we can do that. So that's that. <laughs> it's a bit larger now for them. I might move these. Okay. That's happy now. Right. So they want more water. So maybe I'll build them a big, big pool here. Okay. So let's uh, go back into our terrain. 
try and do this all over again. Um, Why don't you like my water? <laughs> uh, must admit, this uh, the side of things is a bit awkward. I will not lie. Okay, let's try again. Let's, let's Why don't you like the water? I think I'll do. <coughs> I'll do for now anyways, and we can put some plants in. Let's just press play. Are we happy with all the water? No. Alright. Let's go back to pausing the game. Let's uh, start all over again. Uh, Fight to foundation. There we go. So they're happy now with the amount of water that they have. <coughs> so we'll take that. <laughs> Been nothing but hard work. You pesky animals. Uh, but they are happy with what we have in there, which is good. Uh, coverage is good. Be fair though, they're. they're They are quite... Oh no, not the vet. Cool keeper. Right. I think as well now we do need a few new staff at this point. I think we are now getting a lot busier. So we get another... Security. 
mechanic. And get another caretaker. There we go. Keep them all nice and busy. Okay, well, we need to just, I think as well, we need to start thinking about more keeper huts because of the animals. Now, is there one in here? There is one there. Uh, you know what, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. No protesters anyways. Okay, now what I think we need to do is look at this one, what we started yesterday. Uh, so let's go to our animal trading. And lemurs. Let's throw him in here now and see what he needs. And in the meantime, is there any more to buy? Because there was only one. Could get another flamingo. Aha, uh -huh, lemurs. Now, he was a boy, wasn't he? Who's fighting? How are we overcrowded? Who's fighting? Are you the baby? No, you're the woman. Oh, well, you're not doing very well, are you? You're a boy. Well, I can't do anything with him now for the minute. Let me try and see if I can catch the other boy. There's a female. There's a female. Ah! So why are they fighting? Right. Yeah, we just stopped them from fighting. So we're going to go to animal trading. And we're going to release it to the wild. There we go. Look at that. How kind are we? You vet. You're very young, but... Yep, you'll be fine. Ooh. Money is pouring in. Do we have our friend in here yet? Has he been moved? Everyone's getting sick. What's going on? <laughs> Yeah, this is nice, but is the animal in here? What is going on here? Animal trading. Storage. Okay, he can go for a minute. Where is he? Did he get released in here? That lemur looks bored. That's good. Where are you? Where is he? You're in here somewhere, aren't you? it this way. No, that doesn't work either. 
Oh, where is the lemur? He's hiding in the tree and I need to click on him. <laughs> Little bugger. Where is he? Why can I click on him? You're obviously up this tree. Come down the tree, please. I need to know what you want. Okay, so we've got a few things here. Research complete, mechanics repeat. Damage barriers, why? Damn warthogs. The baby's growing up pretty quickly though as well. Okay, quickly let's just have a look at our research, where we're at with all this. Aha, uh -huh, we got what we wanted on the flamingos. Um, and we have what we have on the ringtailed as well. Okay, that's good. Happy for the minute. These guys all pretty happy. What I want is this Lima. Why are you hiding in the tree so I can't see you? Oh. What's happened there? Come down and see the people, would you? Got an idea. Not the best idea, but I have an idea. If I... Box him. Aha, here he is. What we want. Catch him. Okay. We have one lemur, which now means we can actually uh, do some bits and pieces for them. Which is good. Okay, so what does he want? Environment wise. What's a hard shell of the terrain? He wants a bit more soil. Um, which is actually not too bad. Okay, plants. What does he like? He likes the tropical. So, let's have a look. We'll get rid of that, and that, and let's see what we got. Let's design this up. Quite like them. A couple of banana plants along the trails. Come in the door. <laughs> um, bamboo. I want it to be kind of like a rainforesty.
type thing. Bit of colour. Bit of colour in here. Which is good. One of these swingy things. Swiss cheese plants. Bit of copper rocks. Uh, what else we got rock wise? Couple of other little bits and pieces. I don't think it's uh, particularly beautiful or anything, but um, oh, these are quite cool. I'll put one of them in there. Look at that. Bit of colour. Bit of a centerpiece. Swiss cheese. Now I'm not going to cover everything because I'm going to put a big climbing frame in here for him as well at some point. Um, that would be a good plan, wouldn't it? Okay. He's kind of happy with the plants for the minute. Now he needs a hard shelter. So let's do that. Let's get a shelter put in here for him. Um, I suppose we might as well keep with the kind of wood effect, shouldn't we? Now, where are we going to squeeze that in? I put a big rock there, don't I? I think we will squeeze it in there. Just, oh, just. Some bedding. And we'll just make sure we get the right thing. What are they, ringtails? Ringtails. Okay, oh, so we already have some toys and stuff researched for them, which is, uh, which is good. Water bowl, you know what, we'll just put in a water, water fountain. And what about feeding? Where's your food bowl? Oh, the platforms. Oh, okay, so you can probably stick them up high. Hmm. Okay, well, what we'll do, I'll just put it on the floor for now here. You can feed there, say. And what we'll do, we'll throw in a couple of these climbing posts. We're going to have quite a few few of these little monkeys. There you go, you can have some uh, squirty stuff. Climbable logs. Well, maybe we can put some random things around here, can we? Cardboard box. Frozen fruits. I think this is going to be one happy uh, lima for the minute. We might build our own climbing frame. Maybe that's what we'll do on the next uh, live stream. That might be pretty cool. Okay, let's just play the game for a second. Make sure this guy is happy. He is. He is fairly happy, I think. Well, as happy as he can be for right now. Uh, now, the only thing we're missing from this habitat is we need some money collectors and some information. Uh, which we will do. Put one there. There's one as they come in. One. It'll do no harm with it. We can put some ambient speakers. 
Oh no, we education stand. We'll go with that first. I think we'll get another one of them. Never have too much education. And educational speakers, this is what we want. So we can throw one in here. One actually near their habitat. We'll throw one by the rock here. I suppose we should put another one there. The only problem is we've got to turn them all on. I can't do for the second because we can't see. Let's just switch what we have, what I can see. <coughs> yep. You talk about the lemur. You want to be talking about the lemur. Where's the other board? they not be powered. We can put a security camera in down this side. Do not feed the animals. Maybe that's what we should put in here. A couple of these. Look at that. Transformer. Ah, oh, look, it's just off, which is very annoying. We get maximum out of this. We need to put it down here. Okay, well, we won't worry about that for the minute. What's this? Security cameras, uh, lights. Wait, we need the daytime to come back. I can't really finish this without a bit of light. What's going on here? Staff. Mechanic research is complete. We have new staff facilities, uh, which is always nice. We actually have another mechanic now who can do. We're getting to do power. That's what we'll we'll start him on. And yeah, that'd be good. All right, let's turn this down to just a normal pace. Money is flowing in nicely. Animals look happy. Might actually have new toys for, for the warthogs now too. Turtles, tortoise, they're happy. We like to see. Now what we do need actually, we need to get some of these lemurs, ringtails. Oh. Adopt her, let's move her in. Now I wonder should we put some... Um, can something else go in with them I wonder? Some of these pea fowls, do you think they can live together with them? <laughs> Shall we give it a go? Let's adopt that one. She's quite old. Let's adopt these two. Let's see if we can move these in too. Let's see how this goes. Very quickly. They might need their own. Uh, <laughs> they might need their own little thing. Okay, well now the daytime's here, let's put it back on pause. Let's turn on all our speakers and everything that is hiding. And what we can do, we can then switch that up for the P files as well. Box, what's this one doing? I have to research the P files anyways, so that'll be okay for the minute, I think. We do need though is the staff are now going to need okay look we've got some pretty cool well keeper hut that's pretty cool trade center staff room 
research. What does the large hut do? Small hut, large hut. Ah, sure, who knows. What we're going to do, we're going to actually throw this hut. We're going to put it off the beaten track a little bit there. Look, we'll throw it down here. Of course. That now looks absolutely terrible. <laughs> now look, that is what that is. Uh, so facilities, uh, that's what we got security. Yeah, let's uh, let's put in a couple of benches around here. Let the people kind of relax, enjoy themselves. Put in a couple of bins. Sure the monkeys will enjoy pulling all the food out. Go put in a camera. Big big brother is watching and all that. Uh, thank you for the new subscriber there. If you are watching the show, thank you very much. Um, so, what else can we do? How can we make this look a little bit better? We need to do a bit more research on all this kind of signage and, and stuff, really. Uh, nothing else we can really throw in there. I suppose we could have a couple more. What's that, the drink? Did I just... Oh, I don't know what I clicked on now. And uh, where's the food one? That's the information center. Looney balloons. Oh, these exhibits actually. We could put one of their, them in here too, couldn't we? That'd be pretty cool. Actually, maybe I. Well, you know, what I was actually thinking about these exhibits with the snakes and the spiders. I was thinking about actually digging underground and making a, an underground uh, thing for them. That was the kind of plan. I think I'm going to stick to that plan. Not too sure how easy that will be. Um, but we can give it a go. I'm going to delete that now. Chief Beef. Oh, that's just how they all kind of look. Where's the better ones? Food shop. Make a bit of a picnic area actually around here. That could be pretty cool. For the second, we got some bins and stuff. Get some nature, something pretty. Plants. Whoa. Pretty, not big. Uh, you know what? I think that'll be it for the second. Let's wait for these pea fowls to enter here. Here they come. Hopefully, these all can live together now. Oh no, that's that's my other monkey. Let me click on her. There we go. Here she is. And she's happy. She's the main thing. We do have a bit more enrichment, but oh, here they come. Here's our pea fowls. Now, hopefully, they can all live together. Welfare enrichments. Why? Right, what's your need? Plants. You want less plants. Ah, oh, 
That has not gone to plan. I suppose if we just get rid of a few of them. I'm going to leave them playing with the cardboard box. Where's that peafowl gone? Happy bunny. But not too bad though. I think if we can get him some toys. So let's go into our research quickly. What, what the hell is all this? Okay, so we now need a new staff room as well, which is fine. Money is starting to creep up nicely. Where is the staff room? Probably need some new toilets as well. Uh, staff only have this little pathway here, so maybe it's not a bad area to just It's not pretty, but it'll do I suppose we could probably do a block of toilets down this way as well hmm. I think everybody's fairly happy other than that. Okay, let's go to our research. Flamingos are happy. Right. He's doing them. We need you to do them. We need to get some toys for them. Okay, flamingos. What have we got for you now? Flaming. Flaming yon. Okay, so you've got some scent stuffs. Waterfall. Can I put that in there? I don't know, that might look a bit stupid. This does look stupid. Maybe we put it up here. Destructive. There you go. Well, we've got no protesters. We've got some money. I don't think it's looking too, too bad. <coughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, no, sorry. There's only three of them. Oh, Jesus. Well, there's loads of them. Who's the baby here? 14 years old. Three years old. Oh, look. They're happy. Look at that. Can't take that away from them, can we? But they want some toys, actually. So we should have some now for these. Um, what are they? Warts. Okay, look. We've got a small barrel feeder there for him. Forage. Mud bath. This is what they want. But my god, it's huge. So they got a nice big mud bath there now. Give them a cardboard box. <laughs> that keep them busy. I think everybody has a couple of toys now. I think everyone as good as we can be. We just need to research now for our pea fowls. Is there any more lemurs? Or are we having any more lima babies? That would be also pretty, pretty cool right now. Let's go with lemurs. I want some of these monkeys, but they need snow, so I forgot that idea. Ooh. There's another boy. These are girls. I wonder now. I'm going to take the risk. I'll take these. Go to the animal trading. And watch this now, this will all go terribly wrong. Some sort of crossbreeding or something going on. Oh jeez, look at these. <laughs> Are you happy? No, you need toys. I know you need toys. Toys are coming. Toys and information are coming, I promise. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, who else do we have that's new now? Mm, no one at the moment. Uh, they're getting level 2 on them. That's fine. I think it is going to be time for some more vets and stuff, but... Okay, these little fellas. He's... Happy. Kinda. Happy enough. That's what we like to see. Here he is. at me people. Ah oh, look there's two of them. There's two girls. I don't know if they can breed with these ones. Okay that's cool. So now we can put a few more information signs just in here. Uh, that's not what I want. More facilities. What we do? Just throw another one in here. Yeah, I think they're, they're pretty much the same. There's more donations in it. <laughs> ah, the monkeys escaped. Ah, all the monkeys escaped. Oh, he hasn't. It's just the one. How did he get out? I've got the climbing fence up here. Maybe this all needs to be higher. Maybe just because it's so close to that hut there. See how this goes. Probably could do a little bit of water in here now, that'd be nice. Who's this? That's because of that. Mayday, mayday. The vet stuff there glitched. I don't know what she's gonna do. I have to wait a minute. Are all the animals boxed then, or is it just. No, just the one. I think what would be easier at this point. Oh no, the vet got her. Okay, so that coming back in. I'm quite happy with this, I'm, I quite like the look of the park. I think we're doing pretty well. Money's doing nice and good. I think we definitely need some sort of water in here now. Be nice. I think we'll do that on the next next episode anyways. Let's see what animals we've got in the trading. I think we should go a bit wild this oh. God's sake. Who's protesting now? Who's protesting? Better because the animal was in the box for too long. Oh.
nutrition. Why are you not eating? What is wrong with you? She is a giant tortoise. Giant panda. She's under a gallon. That's what she is. Interesting. Food, food. They're not getting fed. Oh. Stop protesting at me. Oh, that's all right. Where are you running off to? Let's see if she's going to make some food. Okay. That's all you need. Kill the turtles. Good news is he's okay. Okay, perfect. We got some now on the pea fowls. Coming back anytime today. Here we go. Got quite a few keepers, though. Maybe we we'll get one more. I do no harm with it. Kind of zoo doesn't feed their animals. No wonder why these guys are here. Go away. Oh, Jesus. Died of old age. Oh, no. Well, at least we had a puppy before she died. The Timber Wolf is called Lucas. And Trinity. Oh. Well, that's pretty upsetting. Somebody's in low welfare here now, too. What's wrong with this guy? Died of old age. Girl. Okay, this is one of my lemurs isn't too happy, but okay. So we need, geez, look at the cues for these things. Wow. No, it's not good. So we need to build some more research stuff. I mean, that was me thinking everything was going quite smoothly. The protest is still there. Why? I 
Which is nutrition issues. What do you need to do? Eat the goddamn food. Let's see if the vet will do anything. Two go. quality of that food now. I think that's the way forward. Goddamn protesters. Okay, I'm pretty happy with this episode. The flamingos, which have been actually nice and easy, believe it or not. There's one, there's two, there's a third one. Here he is. Uh, these guys have actually... Uh, ...are starving. Oh, Jesus, they're all going to be out of me now in a minute. Let's up the quality of food. I suppose everyone just have a bit better quality, can't they? I suppose now this is the point where we're going to start getting a bit busy with all this kind of stuff. Call a keeper. We'll call the mechanic out there too. These guys aren't getting fed now either. What the hell is going on here? Well, they probably don't actually have it. Ah, oh, okay. Put the bloody hut here for them to make their lives easier. Now we do need just pea fowls. How do they eat? pretty good everyone now needs just upgrading and stuff so look i think this is where we're going to leave this live stream we're going to leave this episode um if you're enjoying this please make sure you leave a like on the video subscribe down below to the channel if you haven't done so already uh, i won't be doing too many more of the live streams on this planet zoo i'll be turning them into just regular episodes soon there might be one or two more left for this week as well as doing the full week on planet zoo um but i'm quite happy so far i think we're expanding out quite nicely now I think uh, the next live stream we're going to build uh, a big cave and we're going to put some spiders and snakes inside. I think that'd be pretty cool uh, if I can get this terrain tool nailed down. Uh, off camera what I'll do, I'll just upgrade everybody's food, make sure everyone's getting looked after as there seems to be a bit of an issue with that. Oh, I do have a timber wolf I could release back in, the one that was fighting. Uh, staff wise, how are we doing? Need another research centre now, got a couple of keepers. 
vendors, yeah, vets. I think that is probably one thing we need. <clears throat> so there you go, that's it. Thank you for everyone who's watched this and uh, hopefully like I said there'll be one or two more live streams but not too many more now on this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.